since Monday and we've had a lot of work done since Monday but I've been so immersed in it that I just haven't been bothered to capture it all you know sometimes you gotta keep it real it's about 6am I've just woken up brush my teeth wash my face and whatnot I usually shower in the evening and then we get to work in the morning and then shower in the evening again so I don't know if that's unhygienic but hey it's lifestyle baby um but yeah, I'm just going to show you a little bit of what's been done. A whole lot of work, a whole lot of work, so you give thanks. So you know I told you about them bites then, two more. The ones that, the really small flies that bite you in the morning. Um, even though I knew this technique from one of my brothers who's out here, uh, Live to Learn, make sure you follow him up, Joshua. Um, smoke and just insects don't really run so what we do in the morning now is we run a little smoke especially by the house and it's been doing wonders in regards to just dealing with insects and those small morning flies so at the moment all the weeds we get we burn them and just make a little bit of smoke to I guess it suffocates them so that's been working well um, as you see over here, we've actually cleared this land. This is where the kitchen is going to go. And look at the fence. You can see the different sort of quality in wood. But all of that is fresh wood. We did that all yesterday. So now the boys have come, they're just marking out the bottom part to... Um, start there before they go and harvest the rest of the bamboo. I'm about to head into the city to get these, which I bought uh, um, last night, planed. Um, I'm proper annoyed about that because I dodged some, I dodged some crooked feds yesterday, but I've got to go past them again. They're set in a certain place. Um, I tried to act like I didn't see them, I just sped past them because by default you have to pay them some sort of chop money. I found out that basically the wood around here is actually bushwood, so it's not legally cut down. So this is why a lot of people pay the police and chop money. Like I'm still against it, but it's like you've got to pay the game. If I knew it was wood that was essentially not legal i probably wouldn't have got it but it's, it tends to be the only way they do things out here this is why little chop money's passed here and there i don't think a lot would get done if that wasn't the case so yeah so if i get past them today i'm probably gonna have to give them something because they literally saw me ran after me and i ducked out <laughs> um but yeah now anyway so I'm gonna go and play in the wood. We're gonna go and fetch some water um, And yeah, man, I think that's pretty much it for now I'll just show you a bit more deal what we've done once I get back from buying the wood. So Shalom, man. I pray everyone's blessed and well but Yeah, man A lot getting done. We give thanks to most at all times. Shalom So this is the kind of walkthrough area, so you can kind of imagine it a little better. We've got 
this would be the toilet. Here's where my house is, so the wall will be here. This will be like the corridor. Then, bath, toilet, shower. I'm thinking I'm gonna make this like a walk-in shower. I've got a little design idea for it, but gotta see if it's possible. Not that if it's possible, it's definitely possible. The problem is, is that with Ghanaians is that they don't like to try new things. They're very stuck in their ways, and that's in all aspects, whether it be eating, just design styles and stuff so sometimes you have to kind of bring something new and I'm not here to like show off or try and make things too hard this is why I can't wait to start getting into the earthworks because I want to show them what's possible with what's around them but like I told you a lot of the reason why I did this was because I got so I was so uncomfortable and so um, messed up when I first got here that I had to get something built quick and now we've just run with the theme of what I started but um I can't wait to get a lot of the earthworks in, so it just shows them what is possible with real craftsmanship and care. Because um, a lot of the time when they build out here, they build very sort of rough, quick, like without care, and then they'll be looking outwardly like, oh, why doesn't my stuff look like that? Or why can't I have something like that? And it's because you're not taking the care. Um, so a lot of their, their focus really out here is money. It's not really lifestyle. It's very unusual. But um, I do think it will stem from poverty, so... I'm not mad at them, mad at them at all. And here's the storeroom. We give thanks because we managed to actually get it level yesterday. I was really happy when I got back from picking up the iron rods and the wood yesterday. So all of this, we're either gonna cast it with cement or I'm gonna actually lay it with gravel, which and just tamp it down. So we'll see what. Um, we opt for but very happy with it. You can kind of see the shape of it and today We're actually gonna be We're gonna be casting uh, The lintel this is what the iron rods are for so once we put the concrete around it's got like a firm base um, And then it will be roofing so this room should be done essentially by the end of next week and in the city today we managed to bump into a plumber so the plumber's going to come down and i'm going to tell him my ideas for the gray water system and uh having the rainwater captured up here you see it there there's the rain gutter and i made sure the toilet was right behind it i'm going to have it captured there and also run a natural filter where it's like charcoal sand all different layers of what you would kind of find in the i guess the the, the layers of rock and earth but all of these sort of things I'm going to put in are going to be there to try and filter the water and I'm going to use, try and use that for the toilet system so like I said I'm trying to do a modern version of sustainability and see the plumber tells me if it's possible or not the likely he's going to tell me do it the conventional way and I'm I'm hopefully just going to say no so we'll see how we get on anyway blessed day this focus is productive as it was yesterday, so all praise for the most high. Look, say it up, we're heading up, been stepping up, G spirit, sweat and blood, all now they hearing us. You hear of us, so what I'm saying, for the sin used to really tear me up. All that false flagging just started tearing up. Boy, all that engine that started gearing up. Car wars and the ethereals, heaven hearing us. You hear of us, purge out the pig and let the spirit stir it up. Found a third of us, or oh, you ain't heard of us. War going on, GS and them versus us. Took servitude and spoil, then they murdered us. Pointed fingers and then they us. I've heard yeah. enough, just learn to love. It's a clack how the spirit circles us. Seen worlds apart, we're set apart, G. It's heaven's heart, eh? Hey, set it up, heading up, stepping up. Perfect. This week, I'm just not really feeling it, man. Feeling a bit funny today. I've done a lot though, but I guess this is where like the consistency, despite how you're feeling, kicks in. Kind of like getting work done despite how you feel. So that's really been one of the days today. Even this week, if I'm honest, a lot's been done, but I'm just not not feeling 100 at all. And this doesn't help. Eating yam for the sixth time this week. And it's only been three days until this week. But hey, it's food. Got 
here with a Carson knot. Right now this game is just helping frame the area I mentioned was going to be like in the distant shops. So, so Zach is currently painting the bottom of the post as you see here. I really could have done the whole post but I felt like I may use a, a type of oil just to give it a bit of a gleam and keep it a bit natural. But for other projects I may try most of it. As you see here we've got the stalks of the corn and some bamboo and over in the distance you see the kind of rectangle area we've left and this is where I'm hoping to put the shots and a nice sort of scene area for the people but I want to kind of still try and maintain a level of like the natural vibe just so um, before I get some copyright issues I'm gonna get away from this music um, just so yeah, I can create some things that they need, stuff like cornmeal, possibly a cold store, just a general sort of place to get like fruit and veg, but you'll be surprised how heavily plagued this place is with processed food, so I actually want to try to bring some more idle, idle vibes here, especially as I've got a small little space here for gardening, well it's pretty big actually. So hopefully I can bring in some fresh juices rather than coke and Sprite and milk. Just get them back on like recognizing what's around them. As long as you can understand the process and whatnot. Kind of balance our sugars with natural sugars. But the reality is, is that it's a lot of learning that I have to do as well because I'm pushing myself to become more of this person in London. I find it's very easy to live this lifestyle, but out here, it's not that easy, man, because nothing is set up like that. You can just walk into prayer and do certain things, but it's not really the lifestyle here. You ready to chop, yeah? Food ready? Okay, all right, it's time to eat, so chill out, man. So, also, I told you about the biodigest that we're doing. So... I'll show you what we're doing now. Kind of a double whammy because a double whammy. I can't believe I'm using terms like that. Um, but anyway, so we're digging the hole. So this is the back of the toilet. And I'm hoping to have a pipe run through. And this will be the biodigester. It'll be filled with organic material and the biodigester enzymes, which is gonna help break down the soil, um, sorry, the, the feces over time. So the plumber isn't, didn't actually make it today, but he's going to be there tomorrow. So what oh, the mandem are doing oh, now, just clearing the area for where we can put all the subsoil, which is sandy and clay, which is perfect for rammed earth. So what I meant by killing two birds with one stone is that we're going to end up using this to essentially build the veranda. This is going to be our first sort of attempt at some earthworks. So yeah, that's basically the plan now. So. Taking this, dumping it here. Then we're gonna get a screen, filter it, make it very fine. So when we're tamping it, it's proper smooth at the end. So yeah, it should be interesting, man. But I think it's gonna work out amazingly. So, so yeah, man. A little bit of what we're doing, man. Update you as we go along. Shalom. Literally the plumber just called me, it's about 7.30 in the morning and he's en route now so luckily I've got um, two of the workers here, one of them's command of English isn't too bad so I think that's him pulling up, no it's not but um, so yeah I'm just going to talk to them about obviously just the fittings but just seeing if I can um, connect it to the biodigester and also um, grey water system so see if I can actually create a small sort of filter system where the water from the shower will then go into a small sort of basin which probably have like a worm cut worms in them so any sort of debris it will kind of deal with it the plan is though is that with the shower I can't use anything toxic everything has to be natural which I'm happy about 
uh, in order for it to be broken down because if it isn't then it won't break down so um, I'm interested to see how this goes because I know the way Ghana's system is everyone wants you to fall in line with the system but um, I really want to change the way they do things and that means I've got to change the way I do things that means not necessarily conforming entirely so we'll see how everything works out man I'll see if they're able to do what I plan but I'm gonna force it anyway because <laughs> I'm gonna try to anyway. See the two more chopping me up this morning. It's vicious, but it's weird. Each day I'm getting more used to the bites and they're not hurting as much. So give thanks, man. Shalom. So this is the wood they just collected. I'm actually gonna use this for the veranda. You see now they're just skinning the bark off it straight from the wood. Then I'm gonna get some. Um, we're gonna char it, and then I'm actually gonna get some. Uh, motor oil as well and lightly pull it over and then paint it but this is fresh wood they're just skinning off the bark as we speak talk with a plumber a very cool guy, his name's Augustus and we managed to get all the fittings today the rest of the sort of everything else is in my room and real positive I told him all the ideas I had for all the green ways of plumbing even though it's still not very green like I won't lie, it's a modern version the best way will always be to be doing a compost toilet but I'm going to be using rainwater and we managed to find a filter so the rainwater will be filtered and will go straight into the toilet and basin. So we give thanks for that. And then we're now working on the grey water system. So when he comes tomorrow, I'm going to show you all of that. But right now, a whole lot of progress, man. I feel like we're going to be at finishing stages real soon. I'll show you something else that's amazing. You know about masonry, you know that there needs to be a lintel at the top. This is giving a better idea of what the room's going to look like. We ended up putting some level of foundation at the bottom. But here is where concrete is going to go over the steel rods, which is going to help secure the building. After that, we're literally just at a few more blocks and then um, onto roofing. So I'm actually predicting that this could be done in two weeks time. I would say end of next week, but that's very hopeful. But this is all the wood that's going to be used to cast the lintel. And after that, we're pretty much good. I've got to start working on getting something called a burglar proof and that's going to stop people coming in and um, as well as that um, what else and doors windows are going to be they're actually being made as we speak I'm actually meant to be collecting them tonight so if I manage to I'll show you how those are looking but in all honesty, it's been very, very, very productive. Um, actually, more than probably what I've caught on camera, but um, I'm very, very happy at the moment. So, I give thanks for praises. Today, it's Friday. You should have the, so the carpenters at, at work, and the plumber should be coming over to do the fittings. It should be, it's kind of like, I feel like we're finally getting to the end of quite a long journey now. Um, actually getting the little storeroom finished once that's finished I feel like kind of beautifying the place should be amazing but there was so much rain yesterday look at all of here I'm gonna have to wash it out I can tell that it wasn't level because all the water gathered here as you can see here so yeah just gonna yeah, see what we can get done today. So, camera should be fitted today as well as all the windows and doors put in. So, I'm update. I've been deep forest plucking up leaves from it. Yeah. Yeah. All in Babylon, I just dream of it. All the pain part of the team from it. The whole scene from it. I mean, clean from it. Your false prophets planted schemes on it. Your weed from it. Don't even speak of it. One of them true treasures, the seeds from it. Seamless, I always ski on it. I ain't always been on it. Look how them pop pills and seam vomit. Top shelf, the scenes from it. Mind you, I ain't always been polished. That's if I'm being honest. 
Listen, certain sinners took me clean off it. And that's why praise be the peak topic. Father and the son never speak of it. Shallow faith, deep pockets. We just Pokemon, just hold the team rockets. Righteousness, I'm trying to recover it. More time. Plumbers digging the hole for the grey water system. Here the shower and the basin water so will enter. Exit, sorry, here. Then I'll put the first filtration system in. And the second and third, and you see there's a dip in the land. The excess water will end up going into the land and into the lake that we'll create over here. So we are able to save and reuse the water. So me and Puff are just charring the wood. This is going to be the wood for the veranda. We cut it not too long ago. Here we're trying it, it's looking real good. No oil on it yet. Started on the veranda. I told you we were going for rammed earth with that one. Um, so here's the stone foundation we started. All these rocks we collected from Dokotua, Dokotua even. We're now laying them out. We're going to fill the middle with mortar. But this is the vibe. That area is where we're going to dig a hole and all the wood we're charring over here is what we're going to put into the hole. So you actually last week we previously done a few but it wasn't good enough and today I got this wire brush to give it a nice clean even finish so we'll see how we get on. Thomas kind of finished his work. Um, we've been doing quite. Let me see if I can get up here and show you a bit. Makeshift ladder, so I'm not too confident. I will see how we get on, just so I can show you the lintel. Oh, oh god. Okay, we're good. So this is what we've casted. All up here, iron rods are in here. Just to secure it all. So this is essentially the toilet and the shower. After this stage, f literally a few more blocks and we should be done. It should be time to start roofing. We plaster inside and it's done. I'm finally, I'm glad to finally start getting like busy on some earthworks because in all honesty, um, like I said, cement was not the plan. It was more of a quick method and it just shows that a lot of the time the quick method isn't the best method. But that psychological and physical sort of abuse of being in a mud hut, but also not mine, was just too much to handle. And going back and forth from Accra to try and make this happen just, just wasn't it. So I kind of stuck with the theme, but I'm very happy with the fact that we're at least doing a grey water system. You see just up there where the rain gutter is, that's where we're going to be attaching the tank and a small filter so my toilet water, my basin water and shower water will all be run by our rain water. So I just got to pray for rain and but I will be digging a borehole on the side so if it doesn't all work out I can fetch some water from below the land but this is all about self sustainability 
And I've got my solar panels here as well, which I'll show you in a little bit. So my portable one is working amazingly at the moment, so we give thanks for that. But um, no complaints right now, man. Really, truly giving thanks. But in regards to progress, it's been, it's been, it's been amazing day by day. So we definitely give thanks for that because there's been a few hiccups, but apart from that, all praises. It is hot today. Don't even know if I'm in focus, but. I'm not I'm terrible. Rusty. Yes, sir. I'm coming down. Shalom. No major, but was so major. How my soul made up. Hey, you gonna put this in a hole? Yeah. <laughs> no major, but was so major. I had my soul made up. It was a no brainer. So changed up. Yeah. And now the whole game's up. Huh? Yeah, I read the whole page up. It was a no brainer, eh? Drive on flake top, yeah. And we use me tape up, get yeah, a real one spake up, yeah. Who next up, Jacob, eh? Dead souls raise up, then send all praise up. Yeah, I pray we will wake up and walk straight up. Spirits at rest, set it with chest, G cakes up. All praises to the maker, I had that be the creator. Praises, now they can't snake us, nah. I know you can't take us.